Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the difference between linear convolution and circular convolution. And also, we will understand the difference between DIT FFT and DIF FFT. These topics are frequently asked in examinations as well as interviews. First, let us understand the difference between linear convolution and circular convolution. Let us start with linear convolution. In linear convolution, the length of the sequence may not be equal and the resultant sequence is n is equal to n1 plus n2 minus 1. The shift is linear in case of linear convolution and aliasing is not present. So, mathematically, this is how we can represent a linear convolution. But in circular convolution, length of the sequence must be equal. Hence, the resultant sequence can be given as n is equal to n1 that will be equal to n2. The shift is circular and aliasing is present in circular convolution. And this is the mathematical representation of a circular convolution. Now, let us understand the difference between DIT FFT and DIF FFT. In DIT FFT, we reduce the samples in time domain. The input is bit reversed while the output is in the normal order or natural order. It splits the sequence into even and odd parts and the multiplication is done before addition. Finally, the butterflies are defined on the last part of FFT. In DIF FFT, we reduce the samples in frequency domain. The input is natural order while the output is bit reversed. It splits the two DFTs into first half and last half of the input samples. The multiplication is done after addition. And finally, the butterflies are defined on the first part of FFT. So, this is the clear difference between the linear convolution and circular convolution as well as the difference between the DIT and DIF FFT. If you carefully remember these points, you will be able to answer both theoretical and numerical questions very confidently. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.